That's right, Don. The fire is still burning. Behind me, you'll get a shot of that fire truck with that ladder in the sky. It's been there for over six hours now, and officials say it will stay there for quite some time. Now, this may be an old factory, a vacant factory building, but it sure is causing a lot of problems for people in the area. Flames shooting in all directions, thick black smoke reaching high into the sky, seen as far away as Southington. This old factory is a block long and equally wide, and the massive blaze took a couple of hours to control. We're able to establish a perimeter, which is what you have now. We have the fire contained, and uh, it's just burning through in different areas, and we're addressing the hot spots as they come up. The chief says the fire will burn all night long because it's simply too dangerous to put personnel inside the complex. There's holes in the floor, there's weakened uh, 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 walls, staircases, there's a lot of dangerous elements that we've identified from uh, prior visits to this uh, to this site. The fire began around 5.30 Saturday afternoon. The sight of intense flames shocked those in the neighborhood. I was cleaning my sneakers and then I seen the smoke from my window and I told my brother and then he's like, oh snap. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna just call 911. The thing I saw, just the flame go real to the highest sky, all the smoke. And they see all the fire department coming like crazy. Here on the back side along River Street, the back side of this complex, you can see there are still flames all over the place and the smoke billowing with the wind taking it into a very populated neighborhood. The dry weather conditions and that steady wind created hazardous conditions. Air was difficult to breathe and there was the threat of breakout fires. We've had trees, we've had uh, brush fires spout up as a consequence of this. Uh, the brands get airborne, then they'll come down on, on this, uh, uh, on a dry tinder, uh, you know, the ground, and, uh, and off, it, off it goes and we've got a brush fire. Because the way I see all the hat coming this way, because with the wing push it over, that's the way. And the fire continues to burn. Fire officials do have some good news. They say there have been no injuries to this point. Also some good news, electricity that be, had been out in this area, hundreds of homes affected, starting to come back on after hours of being out. The fire marshal will not be able to begin uh, the investigation on the cause of this fire, however, until it is out, which will be sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in Waterbury, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.